Welcome to the Zeem's online tutorials by Cinematrics Technologies. In the previous video, I went over the configuration of Zeem's so that it filters inbound messages for my Microsoft Exchange server. This time I will show you how to configure Zeem's to filter outbound messages so that my Zeem server will filter both inbound and outbound emails. So far, we have set our Zeem's to receive inbound emails, which gets filtered through the SMTP proxy server. The filtered emails get sent through Exchange. Once we configure outbound, emails coming from Exchange will go to our Zeems' regular SMTP server for filtering. It will then get sent to the destination server. My first step is to add an additional IP address to the machine where I have installed Zeems. This step is necessary because I will be using the SMTP proxy server as well as the regular SMTP server in Zeems. If you are using the regular SMTP server for inbound filtering, you do not need to add in an additional IP address. Please skip to the next step which will go over the modifications of my Exchange Server Send Connector. To add in the IP address, I select my Network Adapter Properties and view the properties of my TCP IPv4 configuration. In the Advanced tab, I click on Add to create the second IP address. I have to make sure my Zeems' SMTP proxy server is bound to my primary IP address. To do this, I go to the proxy configuration page and select the IP address for binding. I will have to enable the regular SMTP server so that it can filter outbound emails. I click on the SMTP configuration page and bind a new IP address I have recently created to this server. I can use port 25 here since my IP address of my SMTP server is different than my proxy server. My next step involves modifying my send connector so that outbound emails go through Zeems. If you are using a different email server, please refer to your SMTP server's documentation regarding modifying the smart host so that all outbound emails go through Zeems first. In order to modify my send connector, I access the Exchange Control Panel and go to the Mail Flow option on the left hand side. I click on the Send Connector option and I click on the plus sign to create a new send connector. If a send connector already exists here, I can also double click on it to modify the values. Once the option opens, I will need to configure multiple settings. First, it asks me to input the name of the send connector. I enter the name seams and leave the type to custom. I then click next to proceed. My next step is to modify the network settings for my send connector. I select the option route mail through smart hosts and I add in the newly created IP address which is bound to my Zeems' regular SMTP server. If you are not using the proxy server, you can add in the IP address of where Zeems is installed here. The next option is to add in the authentication type for my smart host connector. I put no authentication here. Exchange asks me to input the address space. I click on the plus sign to create one. I leave the type as SMTP and cost as 1. I put the value of star in the FQDN field. I click on save and then click on next to proceed. The last step is to add my source server. I click on the plus sign to add my exchange server's address here. After I click OK, I click on Finish to complete the Send Connector configuration. Before I test my outbound email flow, I will need to add my exchange's IP address to three locations in Zeems. To go to the first location, I click on the SMTP configuration page. In here, I click on the Relaying tab and I added my IP address of my exchange server here. To access the second location, I hover my mouse over Filter Management and then select the Adaptive Filters. In here, I click on the Auto Learn Sender Filter. In this page, I click on the Manage Trusted IP Addresses and I add in my IP address on my Exchange server here. To access the third location, I hover my mouse over Filter Management again and I go to the IP Filters. In this section, I click on Whitelisted IP Addresses and I added my exchange's IP address here. Now I will send a test email. I start up Outlook and send an email to someone outside of the network. I now log into that user using my email client 
and I now see the email that I have sent from Exchange. And there you have it. I have successfully configured Seams to filter my outbound emails from my Exchange server. Let's recap what I did. First, I added another IP address on the machine where I have installed Seams. Next, I enabled the regular SMTP server and bound each IP address to each server. Then, I created a new send connector for my Exchange server which will forward all outbound emails to Zeems. I added Exchange's IP address to three locations in Zeems. SMTP relaying tab, the trusted IP addresses page, and the whitelisted IP addresses page. Finally, I sent a test message from my Exchange email account to a user outside of my network. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day.